Good evening, Benzo Warriors. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody's feeling better. You know, I hope everybody knows that eventually you are going to recover from Benzo withdrawal. Nobody can tell you how long it's going to take to recover from Benzo withdrawal. They don't know that. Everybody's experience is different. Everybody's inside is different. We are on the inside very different your genes all of that so if somebody says it's gonna take you a year to feel better they're lying to you okay it's gonna take five years you're gonna go into protracted withdrawal and you're gonna take five years and you're only gonna be 50 percent better they're lying to you okay you're gonna have all of these symptoms and you're gonna have this for the whole time of withdrawal they're lying to you okay it doesn't get better we're ruined for life they're lying okay they're lying sorry to say it sorry you're a liar okay and if you don't like it <laughs> you know where to find me i'm in miami anyway guys check it out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over some symptoms because i get a lot of uh questions from people and basically what i want to do is you know go over this this is what i went to when i was in withdrawal and this kind of this was the only thing that got me through okay this right here was my bible this is the ashton manual you know i know most of you have read it so if you don't want to hear me you could you know kick rocks whatever you know i don't care um i appreciate all the new subscribers if you guys subscribe to me that's great if you don't that's cool too you guys could like my videos you could thumbs down the videos it doesn't matter to me i'm here to help people in withdrawal from benzodiazepines and from psychiatric medications and um, I am an advocate for the benzo community a lot of people agree with me some don't um, some people think that I don't have the same injury as them some people don't like me I'm sorry maybe I don't like you too <laughs> so anyway I'm here to help people I'm not here to um, do anything else but help people you know and to let them know that eventually you're gonna get better a very small percentage of people go on for a long extended protracted so we're talking years out you know that's a very very majority minor it's very small chance that is gonna happen to you you know I don't know why it does you know I you know to this day you know at five years out I still wonder you know why I still haven't been able to figure out why some people go on for years and years and years and say that they're still completely injured. Most of the time, they're not gonna tell you that things have changed a lot. They've gotten a lot better throughout the course. They're just so like stuck on, you know, basically saying that they have an injury and that their doctors injured them and they can't believe this happened to them and, and that nature, you know. We're, we were all thrown, um, you know, some bad cards in this period of your life, you know. Whether it was you're on benzos for six months or, you know, six years or for me it was 12 years and change, almost 13, that I was on Xanax. Milligrams, <laughs> I started off at a low dose and I went up, as you all know, we go into a phase where it's called um, basically <laughs> you're in like a, a tolerance, so to speak. So I was in tolerance withdrawal for many years and I didn't even know. I didn't even want to to look up anything. I didn't even want to uh, read about it. I didn't want to learn about it when I was on benzos. I didn't want to, um, so to speak, how do you say um, research what I was going through I just basically um, <laughs> I'm over here at my mom's house and my mom she's an old lady so like I tell her go away I'm doing a video and she just like stares at me and like what are you doing <laughs> so anyway I think she went inside the house <laughs> but anyway look I'm gonna read you guys some of the symptoms of benzo withdrawal writ written by dr. Heather Heather Ashton I believe she just passed away recently I don't know how long ago it was um, if I was, you know, still in withdrawal, I would have probably known everything that happened to her. I just, you know, I, I sort of speak moved on with my life. And uh, I don't really go back to that, you know, period where I um, learned a lot. I learned 
more than the average person. I learned everything about the body. I learned everything about psychiatric medication. I learned everything about benzo withdrawal. You know, I um, met hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. Even when I was sick, I coached people. <laughs> they would message me and ask me am i gonna get better man and better and i used to tell them yeah you're gonna get better you know and i did i thought deep i was lying to them really because i knew in the back of my head that i was gonna get better but i was one of the ones i'm sure there's a lot of you that um basically thinks that you're never gonna get better you know I was the ones that I was like, I'm fucked, I'm injured forever, this is it's never gonna go away, it's never gonna stop, you know, and uh, I made a video the other day, and I decided to uh, cut my finger really bad, I ended up getting a whole bunch of stitches, and I took them out myself the other day, and then I decided to slam the door on my other finger yesterday, so uh, they're brothers now. <laughs> so I've had a rough time with both of my index fingers in the last couple of weeks. So I didn't upload that video, I deleted it. I didn't like some of the things that I said. Uh, you know, I don't want to kind of offend people or, you know, a lot of people don't really agree with me sometimes, but uh, most people do. I have a lot of people that uh, like me and put good comments. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm here to help people. And I'm here to, um, you know, let people know, you know, you're gonna get better. It just could take you a while, but um, here we go. Let's do it. So, like, the in the symptoms list, it says muscle symptoms: benzodiazepines are effective muscle relaxants and are used clinically for spastic conditions ranging from spinal cord disease or injury to excruciating muscle spasms and tinnitus for rabies. Therefore, it's not surprising that the discontinuation after long-term use is associated with rebound increase in muscle tension. That's what I experience. So what happens is you take a benzodiazepine and it totally calms down all 640 of your muscles in the body. And then on a constant, you know, time that uh, every day that you're taking these, your body and your muscles are always relaxed. So when you withdraw or do the crazy thing that I did and then never do is cold turkey, you know, your muscles are calm. And then when you cold turkey, they go into a rebound effect. That's basically what she's saying. So basically the rebound effect muscle stiff is associated with the limbs, back, neck, jaw, commonly reported muscle pains, tension, headaches, um, the back of the neck, the scalp, the forehead. When I was in withdrawal, I had all this weird, like I had like a, a numbing mask on my face, so to speak. And um, yeah, so I was able to um, completely, you know, discontinue benzos and withdrawal cold turkey, but um, don't do it, it's very dangerous. I know I put a huge jolt to my body and my head and my brain and everything in my body. It was a very bad thing that I did. At the same time, the nerves of the muscles become hyper excitable, leading to tremors, tics, jerks, spasms, twitching, jumping at the smallest stimulants. And I still have that. You know, I still have like the jerks and it's very weird. But I don't have them as bad as I did. Like I used to jerk so bad I would fall off the bed. Like it was terrible, you know? So, you know, basically what she's saying is also the jelly legs, bleed pro spasm with the eyelid twitches or whatever. If you guys look, I have another YouTube channel that I had from like some old phone. And if you guys look up my name, like Jason DeBarry or Jason Anthony, I don't know which one it was, but you'll see another video of me where it says, <laughs> eyelid twitching and you could if you look closely at that video it's like only 10 seconds or 20 seconds but it'll show you my eyelid was twitching that was three or four years ago i don't even know how long it was jesus so you know then there's the body sensations where this she says all sorts of strange tingling pins needles patches of numbness that's where the numbness in my face was at and i would get these like weird little tingles all over my body little burning nerve shocks little stings going everywhere like it was just like <laughs> and it went on forever i'm talking about it went on for like the first two and a half years it's it, like when i recovered and i didn't feel those anymore like i knew that i was getting better 
that was very very um weird so it says like motor nerves the, the sensory nerves along with connections to the spinal cord nerves in the brain become hyper excitable during withdrawal it is possible that some it is possible that sensory receptors in the skin and muscle and in the tissue stills around the bones may fire off impulses those were the nerve shocks that i was feeling you know the little nerve little like i felt like literally like bees were stinging me and it was just like can you imagine two and a half years of that that i had you know <laughs> and then i had like the numbness in my legs i had the chest pain like i had 24 7 chest pain anxiety that's why i would always run to the hospital because my chest hurt so bad like i was dying and they never found anything wrong and then later on it would go away and then it would come back so yeah those are the muscles and the nerves the di digestive problems you know i'm still dealing with some of those which is better i could go to the bathroom better but i had terrible terrible digestive diarrhea sort of hell in withdrawal so if you have digestive issues it could be from withdrawal it could be from what you're eating too because a lot of people nowadays have digestive problems it's because they don't care or pay attention to what they're eating if you're eating fast food and junk food and all this crap you're more than likely gonna have some type of digestive disorders your immune system is normal for the immune system go down so it says like it's, people seem to be prone to cold sinusitis and terrible sinuses ear infections cystitis oral vaginal problems candida fungal infections i had a candida overgrowth that i'm still kind of dealing with which is getting better because i'm on some crazy diet right now that it, you know so to speak is gonna help this but uh, it's a lot better than it was in withdrawal um balance a lot of people have balance i know people that they can't walk i couldn't walk my legs killed me for over a year you know um, the heart and lungs, the heart, you're gonna have heart palpitations. I had those, it was fucking crazy. You know, let me see what else. Fits, like fits and convulsions, that usually doesn't happen. You know, cold turkey, like what I did. I had full body seizures, not like a whole fit, but like from my neck down, my whole body would lock up. Um, yeah, so those are basically the ones that I wanted to go over. You know, that uh, to let people know, you know, a little bit more about their symptoms, like everything in your body is a muscle. So all of these weird things that you're feeling is coming from a muscle, it's coming from the withdrawal of the medication, whether you cold turkey or you came off of it, you know, on a slow taper, which I recommend. But yeah, guys, so anyway, I came here to uh, read over some of the symptoms so people are like a little bit more aware of what they're feeling and to let you guys know that you do recover. I got to get going now. Much love. Please, um, you know, leave your comments below, like my video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much. Peace.